to buy the bread, we'd all be dead. If we had to live by the bread, we'd all be dead. And the reason why I'm saying this, two reasons. Because according to the scripture in Matthews, we live by the word of the Most High. The Most High have sanctioned your life. That's why you reached a certain age, you know. And the reason why I'm bringing this out is because of this article right here. Now, this was sent out by the priest Malak Bar. And uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakag, Wadash, double honor to the apostles of GMS, those who rule well, the truth and sincerity. All right, I'm Yalak Bar, offering the shepherd of Berea camp. All right, so yeah, if it wasn't, if we had to live by the bread, we'd all be dead. All right. Here's more information, okay, from the gates of hell, all right, Bill Gates himself, right, has been growing, he has farmland, and he has been growing, okay, you've been eating McDonald's fries from his, from his, uh, fucking, excuse me, from his damn potatoes, the same one who wants to, who's genetically modifying mosquitoes, he's making fake mosquitoes, <laughs> killing them off, right? He wants uh, the world population to go down. Yeah, this is the guy who's feeding you. All right, he's growing potatoes. Who, 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 who knows else with that? Whatever the hell he's growing over here, you know. But um, yeah, man. If it, if if we had to live by the bread, we'd all be dead. And the Lord said we would eat our bread defiled from the Gentiles. All right. This is one article. This is a recent article sent out, but there's another article. And I put it up here too. All right. All this basically talks about in this article is how much farm, you know the farmland and acres of land he got. But um, this right here, all right, it's another one. You know, for those who don't know, you know, it could be a bit of a shocker for you alkaline diets. <laughs> you know, and there's nothing wrong with that eating healthy. But uh, you know, you got people out there who's really hard body about that. Which, you know, I was <laughs> trying to be that way, you know. But it's impossible to do that stuff here, to eat, like, super, super do alcohol. But anyway, the point of this is that, shit, it don't matter what you eat. You could be, you could just be breathing air. You're taking in plastic, bro. 74,000 microplastic particles every year. Whether, whether you're eating, whether you're drinking, or whether you're breathing. All right? That that's that's that that's that's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. All right, and it's messed up. But you know, excuse me, I'm driving. But it's messed up. But hey, this is what the Lord said. The Lord said what? We would eat our bread defiled. But what does this make you want to do more? It makes you want to pray. And it it has to be that we're living by the Most High's bread. That's the that's the real point of the, the video. <laughs> It has to be that we're living by the Lord's word. I mean, excuse me, over the bread. Because we'd all be dead by now. Who knows all the other stuff? You know, we're eating fucking, we eating plastic, bro. We eating plastic, we're breathing plastic. You know, I mean, plastic got harmful effects to the body. You know, here, let me just wrap up that great big watermelon inside this fresh plastic wrap to keep it preserved. You put everything in plastic. You use plastic wrap to wrap your stuff up. You know, to preserve it, you put it inside of plastic containers. Then you heat the plastic container up inside of a microwave. You know, we if it was for the bread, we'd all be dead. <laughs> what the hell are we... <laughs> we just <laughs> Let's look at this. Side effects. It's likely that ingesting microplastics could further expose us to chemicals found in plastics that are known to be harmful. You think not? All right? And who knows, man? It says, man, these chemicals have been linked to various variety of health problems, including reproductive harm. All right, and obesity. So some some in, individuals, you think you're ob obese because of the food you eat. It's not even the food. It's 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 what's being added to the food. You know, you get you, you get your sea moss. Man, I got 95 out of 108 minerals. No, you got more than 95 minerals, bro. You got you got more than that because put this damn plastic is inside of it and it's carrying whatever the hell else is in there. Right? It says. Obesity plus issues such as organ problems, so organ problems, and developmental delays in children, okay? 
That means, you know, the, the kid could be slow. You know, what that's what they say, you know. And, and this is all from plastic. And this is unavoidable. All right? So how in the world we alive and we're living, it has to be to the word. Let me get this script, a few scriptures. Um, and that's why praying is important. It's not the dieting, because, you know, most doctrines of, you know, these other philosophies, you know, you know, eat healthy and do this and do that and do this. But it's all jacked up. And the Bible explains that this is going to be jacked up this way. And the reason why is because the Lord was going to do this. And this is how we know we're amongst the Gentiles. All right. <laughs> this is how we know we're living in amongst the Gentiles. All right. And this is also how we know we're the Israelites. And this is also how we know we're in captivity. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. All right. Now, the Lord's not taking a vehicle and driving us by the Gentiles to say hello. And you know, the Most High drove us through the Gentiles by way of captivity, slavery, by force. OK, it says, right, foul. All right. Polluted. And this is really what it is. It's just polluted, man. It has plastic in it, contaminated with harmful or poisonous substance. So, <laughs> all right, here you got this, this fucking, this guy, man, this Bill Nye Science guy, guy, man, Bill Gates, man, this guy here. I mean, this guy was making Microsoft video games and stuff like that. And all of a sudden he's in food now. Like, I don't think we should mix your, your intellect from video games to food. I, I don't feel, I don't think that's right. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe with you dibbling, dabbling in health and you was just dealing with microchips and Microsoft and and um Windows computers. I just don't think you're qualified for that. You know, I just don't think that. But you're the devil, you know, and you're doing you have a job to do. Right. So <clears throat> more or less. Um. um Verse 14, then said I, oh, our Lord, behold, my soul have not been polluted. So what is it saying? What is Ezekiel saying? I never ate nothing like this. And Ezekiel saying this back then. Imagine Ezekiel now. He just, you're breathing in plastic. Some brothers, the reason why you got you got asthma and so many things, it, 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 is, it is so much. It is so much. That's why we pray, you know. You work out. You do eat to the best of your ability. This doesn't mean... You know, to be lazy ass, you know, you take this as, well, see, I guess it don't matter what I'm going to eat. No, it doesn't mean that. It just, it just lets you know that for those who are on that, like, heart, think that's live or die by that eating eight, that, you know, that cut, just cuts you. You need to pray. It lets you know that the most high word stands. All right. And overall, we're not, we're alive due to what? We're alive due to it, due to it, due to his, um, due to his word. And let me get that scripture, you know? You know, I mean, you take care of yourself. It's a temple. You know, the Most High, you know, want, wants you to do that, all right? But um, is that is that why you're alive? No. This is, Ma um, it, it, I mean, by the food? No. Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh. So you're not living by bread. We're not living by bread alone. Okay. That's why I said if it was for the, if, if we had to live by the bread, you know, we'll all be dead. You know, pretty much by the bread alone, we'll all be dead. All right. Because the bread is defiled. That's why I'm saying it is defiled. Many people, you know, my father died from cancer. Many people catch cancer. I, I had a friend who was, had cancer in high school, you know, like. Who knows about all the complications we, we, we probably definitely had? Because, you know, Esau don't find all of this shit. Then we find, oh, wow, stage five is just so active. You know, he doesn't know when to catch it. And, and then you don't even, you know, a lot of Jakes don't go to the doctor at, at that as well. You know, because they don't trust Esau, you know, which they shouldn't want to trust Esau. But at the same time, you know, this is this is the only person who you got to figure out what's going on with your body. You know, because we don't know. uh what certain uh, signs and symptoms is, unless, you know, you start looking it up on Google and, you know, self-diagnostics. But for the most part, all right, um, hey, yeah, going back to the scripture, listen, man, it's the most high. 
you know? Now, let me get a, uh, another precept because at the end of the day, we have to eat this food. There's nothing you could do. Now, let, I'm going to get a, a quick one in Tobit, all right? And this is from the priest Karak al Kahan, who shared this precept out, which was powerful, you know, because Tobit was not playing that shit, man. He, he, he was not playing around with these Gentiles, with what they're eating. And this is uh, Tobit chapter 1, verse 10. And when we were carried away captive of, to Nineveh, because you got to remember, this is in 2 Kings. This is in Kings. This is, Tobit was from the northern tribe that got carried away captives. You know, all of these stories link up. You know, they don't, this is why, you know, I, I double honest to the apostles to GMS. When you get into this, to this truth, it's thought to all link. All right. Now, remember, they was carried away captive by Salmanazer. Salmanazer's in Tobit, you know, and then uh, uh, he dies, you know, um, but he's in the book of Tobit. All right. And now, but this is talking about his tribe. This is going into his Tobit inside of that. He was carried away captive. Tobit was a righteous individual. All right. He was part of the northern tribe. Now, you know, we go into how wicked the northern tribe was, but you had righteous individuals such as Tobit. That's why this, we're reading about him in the book. He's a man of the Lord. An angel walked with him. But he was part of the northern tribe that got taken away captive. All right. I mean, it's just we had to go through this. So now Tobit was carried away captive to Nineveh. All my brethren and those that were of my kindred did eat of the bread of the Gentiles. So. Everybody had to eat of the bread of the Gentiles, verse 11. But I kept myself from eating because I remember Yahweh by Shem with all my heart. Now, you know, and this was during the Assyrians that would carry them with captives, you know, just, just for some understanding, right? And <clears throat> whatever the hell the Assyrians was eating was some damn crap. But, hey, we eat a bunch of crap now, too. You know, and it's pretty much... Tobit had his righteous understanding back then, so it was a lot different now. We were born eating bullshit, you know? Uh, you know, you know, especially, you know, brothers, you know, some brothers down south. Uh, hey, all brothers, Caribbean islands, you know, you were born eating that captivity type food. You know, we don't we didn't have our righteous culture of being a Hebrew Israelite, you know, knowing what knowing, you know, knowing what was lawful even, you know, before this truth. Because before this truth, you know, I used to eat shellfish you know i never read that that was unlawful i knew not to eat pork <laughs> that was just like the big thing not just because during a, a time period my father <laughs> was in, into that muslim doctrine at one point you know so this we haven't more or less i'm saying this because this isn't something that we were taught you know and um but tobit he wouldn't he was taught this so he knew you know not to uh, eat certain things but even now with us knowing you know, you really can't not eat, um, you know, some of the uh, the foods out here, you know. And the reason why I'm saying that is I'm not saying that you can eat, uh, you, you know, to deny pork and shellfish and stuff like that, you know, and, and, and things that and things of that nature. But at the same time, you know that some of this, a lot of these foods is, is, are defiled. Some of these these meats not even grass fed. Some of the um the um the fruits, vegetables got pesticides and all types of chemicals on it. It's defiled. So, you you know, more or less it would be like, damn, some of the fruits are not even real fucking fruits. You know, and when you really go into it, you know, you need to look at like that, that Dr. Sebi chart. <laughs> but real talk, a lot of fruits are not even real fruits. A lot of berries ain't real berries and stuff like that. It It's all jacked up. You know, some watermelons don't got seeds in it. That alone is a real fruit, but shit, not the one without seeds. You know, so that, I'm just saying that's as far as told. You know, that, hey, that, you know, you look at that like, man, this is this is abomination. You know, what the what the hell is this? You know, but <laughs> you know, hey, this is why we, we pray, and this is why ultimately why you know reading that scripture. Um, if it if it, if we had to live by the bread, we'd all be dead because the Most High made things. Was, if you change or alter anything in the Most Highs, it is not. Oh, it is it is not it is not giving you what it was supposed to give you. You can't, you can't change or alter anything in the Lord because it, it messes up the whole diet. Why do you think animals is going extinct? Uh, people are all, people are killing each other. All, people are stressed the f out. All right, people are stressed the f out. You know, it's more than just the vid and all this shutdown. You know, there's no breaks, there's no rest, there's no salads, there's no land salads. Like all of this energy and then you know, eating horrible food. All of this man is just bugging people out. But um. I won't get too far off topic, right? 
Um, <clears throat> um, right. So Tobit. So you know, this is why I mean, you you pray over over what you eat. You know, but it's uh, the, the 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 perfect under uh, one four four. The perfect understanding is that what that um. Let's get this John six and sixty three. <clears throat> All right, you gotta thank your how about Shim Yahushai. You know he the one who really got us this far. All right, it wasn't on our doing. Cause even before we had this knowledge, you know, hey, guess what? We was eating horrible, right? I test John sixty sixty three. It is the spirit that quickeneth. All right, the flesh profiteth nothing. So the food you eat, what you do, you know, the flesh don't profit nothing. All right, the words that I. The words that I speak unto you, they are life, and they are, they are spirit, and they are life. So it doesn't drop out the flesh. What it's saying is that the flesh only moves according to what the spirit ordained it. You can't be doing running or doing jumping jacks if you ain't have no if this if this if the word wasn't written for you to have legs or feet. You wouldn't even be alive if you wasn't written to be alive. You know, so that's why the flesh profit nothing because you can't make. You can't cause anything to happen outside of what was written. All right. You can't. All right. Because that's just how in a movie is. You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't matter how good an actor or a person is. You know what I mean? If the script doesn't have this person in it, well, then that person, you know, it doesn't profit him to have, let's say, a super, you know, strong body, you know, you know well spoken self and a great acting skill, whatever the case may be. If the script, doesn't involve that, then all that shit he got doesn't profit him. So this is more or less, you know, what the scripture is saying. You know, none, none, you know, only, only the spirit, um, it, it pro, you know, m makes everything happen. It quickeneth, it springs to life. All right, in the words, all right, they are spirit, they are life. You know, so the reason why we're alive is because it, it has, it has been ordained for some. To be to be alive, all right. And those who aren't, it was ordained for them to go into the spirit world, right? All right. So, you know, um, I'm using this aspect as in just talking about this 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 food because this food is all jacked up, man. Everything's jacked up, man. And it, and it's jacked up because the Most High, all right, wanted us to see a wicked rulership, you know, and all the effects of it. This is all the effects of rebelling. Against the most high, you start eating fuck. You eat plastic and breathe plastic, bro. And you gotta know about it. Like I'm gonna put this article out here so you know that you're breathing plastic. Just just so you know, just so you know, you know, you you consume about seventy four thousand particles. You know, and you you can't stop it. You can't stop the bread. That's why we always say, oh, you Old Testament. Yeah, this is another point of why this is a good concept. You know, but because it it lets you know we need Yahweh Shah. What are you gonna do about that? Your whole, your whole, your whole pa everything's defiled, bro. Everything's defiled. It just says uh, plastic is a pollutant, so everything's defiled. That um, unblemished lamb, that 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 shit ate plastic. It breathed in plastic. It's defiled. Is that it? That sacrifice you was making with the salt, yeah, it got plastic on it now. It's the most I don't want it. Now I don't want. It. He's refusing that. Then come on, we need your Howard shot, bro. I mean, like, how much more does the most high need to start putting articles that there's literally feces particles, you know, just a, a whole dust cloud of feces just start falling from the sky? Like, come on, man. Like, you got, I mean, we got to, you got to really wake up to reality. We're screwed. We're screwed if the Lord don't fit, if the Lord ain't like, you know, like, um, you know, the Lord ain't fixing it up a certain way. Cause, it's fixed against us to do it ourselves. That's why the flesh profit nothing. That's why man can't live by bread alone. You just, you can't do it yourself. Everything is according to the word of the most high. All right. And the word is Yahweh Shai. All right. And the word says that he's going to be our salvation and our savior. That's what the word says. We are not going to figure this out ourselves. All right. Here, you know, uh, see, was watching this show, um, this, ep this, uh, you, um, movie called buck buck breaking right and they're talking about all the stuff that esau does to break jake and this down and third well who's gonna stop him 
Who's going to stop him from, if him, yes, I know this and I know that, and the Scandinavians and this and that and the third and all. Oh, 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 oh. Or what are you going to do to stop him? Right. You're going to do nothing. All you're going to do is just, you're going to talk about all this stuff. Great. Great. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, you know, you could, you could, you, know, you raise up all those ancestors of yours. They'll tell you about, yeah, they could elaborate a lot about buck breaking. But what the, they, the only thing they're going to say is, what the hell are you going to do to stop it then? You know, <laughs> you coming out with, with, with you know, with the information is good. You know, the information is good because of understanding. But at the end of the day, what is, what is the resolution? All right. And the resolution is already written. It's written in the Bible that what? That Yahweh Shai, all right, is going to actually be accredited for destroying this man, for taking him out of power and making him a base man. As he is, because you showed he's a base man in a buck breaking. You showed he lived in a cage. Yes, he doesn't know what he's doing and this, that, and the third. And yes, all of that stuff is true, according to Job, according to Genesis. All right. And he is a base man, you know, according to Daniel, you know, um, and this is and this is all true. But the most high have put him in power. Okay. That that's that's who did it. And he is ruling, you know, but you guys wouldn't be able to explain or figure that out. You really wouldn't be able to, because you you'll point out. Damn this, and so you'd be like, damn. Well, how's this guy getting power? You know, somehow, some way, he didn't just start buck breaking. You know, like he just, you know, with he has a, you know, a buck breaking super ability power that he just he touches his chest and you know, buck breaking just goes down. Nah, man, he's able, if he's able to buck break a, a stronger male than him, you know, obviously there has to be a force out there that's that's allowing that to happen, and that's the Most High, you know. But um. Yeah, not even, you know, um, you know, and I'll end it off real quick, uh, through the spirit, but, um, the imitations. The imitations, 3 and 22. It says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. So guess what? How are we not consumed? How are we not dead? And everybody, you know, freaking, man, I got arthritis and this and that and third, just dead. you just dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Lord give you the ability to go on the highways and byways and stand for hours and, you know, and, and, and be able to make it through. You know, there's be some days you wake up, you be like, yo, you just feel like, as if sometimes I be feeling like there be mad stuff in my eye. Like, damn, what's in my eye? Like, my eye just freaking out, twitch, twitch, twitching. I'm like, shit. You know, you feel like always oh, something in your, like a flimp, something in the back of your throat, maybe, you know. But this is why, hey, the most high, you know, it's through, it's through his mercies we are not consumed. You know, the Lord allow you to fast, you know, get some stuff about it. But, you know, you, you not even think about the plastic particles. You even faster fucking breathe in plastic particles, man. <laughs> this shit, this shit, yo, man. Yo, man, it's rigged, man. Ain't nothing we could do. Ain't nothing we could do ourselves, man. It's really the Lord, man. For real. They are, it says, um, it says, uh, uh, yeah, Lamentation 3 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. That's really what it is. Because his compassions fell not. So just seeing all of this and being alive should allow you to know that you are reading that. Wow, the most high is showing a lot of mercy. For it to be 74 billion particles being, you know, and then this, this guy is growing this. And much more stuff that we don't even know about. And stuff that, you know, probably you did, we did read it. I did read about an article. I just forgot. All right? Because it's compassion fell not. They are new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. So every morning, the Most High does bring forth judgment. But every morning, the Most High renews his mercies and his compassions, you know? And the most I have a lot of patience, you know, sometimes, man, I'll be impatient. I'll be impatient at work dealing with Jake sometimes, man. It'd be, Jake could really, you know, not even Jake. It's not even the fact that Jake, Salaki, let me take that back. It's just the stress of you just constantly doing something over and over and over, you know, it, and then seeing the abominable things around and this, you know, it, it, it could play on you and it, it could get you, you know, frustrated. But this is why. You know, the, the Most High is very, very merciful, man. He has a, he's very long suffering and, and has a lot of uh, compassion. You know, that's 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 really you know how you how Bashim Yahweh Shah is. You know, um, 
Um, let's read verse 24. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. So that's it. The hoping with how you eat, the hoping your diet, the hoping, um, you know, alkaline and whatever the case may be. The hope is just in your how by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's it. And your soul got to know that. Your soul, your soul, man. Your soul. All right. The Lord, not the flesh, because the flesh is trying to, the flesh and the flesh, you were always going to be trying to figure out, you know, the best way. You know, that's just because you in the flesh, right? But the soul is just hoping, Lord, you know, is praying. You know, crying out, fasting, doing these things. But the flesh is always going to try to think it could just figure this shit out. <laughs> you know, you go over here, eat organic and stuff like that. You find out this is not even organic. <laughs> you do it. You know, you just you just get screwed around. You just get pimp smacked around. And you're like, oh, oh, gosh, please time out. Right. But it says, um, the Lord. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, right? The Lord is good unto them that wait for him to the soul that seeketh him. So, you know, all of these things, these articles and all of this stuff, this judgment, all of this stuff should make you want to seek the Lord. It should make you really want to wait for him. Because I, I don't want no, I don't want Esau to fit, solve this. I don't want him to solve this. If 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 he put all this plastic out here, I don't want to see how he's going to solve this. I really don't. I just want to, I just want to wait on the Lord. You guys can figure that, figure that out. Cause I, I don't want to see it, man. For real, real talk, man. This guy, this guy, man, this guy, man, this guy is, is, man, he's out of his mind. You know, he really don't, he really, honestly, I don't even think he even understands that he, he's hurting himself with this shit too. But that's like how Pharaoh was, you know, he, he just, he just, he just was trying to go at it with Moses. You know, meanwhile, he he's he's poisoning his own, you know, water and shit. But by, by the time he finished doing all the magic and shit, he, you know, he go that to, th to get thirsty and be like, and they're like, but my, uh, Pharaoh, but oh, uh, we don't have any water. Everything's blood. <laughs> and then the shit hit him. Oh, every, oh, dig up wells. <laughs> you know, but real talk, man, like, we got to wait on your how about Shimmy Abisha, you know? And it's on the most high's time. And we we had a punishment at the end of the day, too. You got to remember that, you know? <laughs> you know, because that eases your mind a little bit, too. Like, oh, yeah, I did. I, I'm in a, I am a punishment. You know, because you forget why you're here. You, man, you really bug out. And what the hell is this? Oh, is man, why are we there? You know? So it says, uh, verse 26, it is a good thing. Um, The Lord is good unto him that wait for him into the soul that seek, seek of him. Verse 26, it is a good it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. And that's it, man. You know, basically, you know, uh, it's not saying basically to shut your mouth, you know, because it says cry a lot, spit or not. So you'd be like, you know, what, that's, that's an oxymoron. No, you know, in your spirit, you know, you keep keep yourself calm. You know, don't be, you know, burn yourself out with anger. You know, most I said, you know, be, ang be angry, but sin not, you know. Um. The fact, you know, uh, is, um, should both hope and you hope in the most high and you're waiting for his salvation. That's it. That's it. But yeah, man, this, this place is, uh, uh, say the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. You know, here it is. You, you over here, you got this salad right inside this damn plastic container. You know, you over here munching in on the salad, talking about you getting vitamin K. And uh, vitamin A, and yo, man, yeah, man, the salad is just, I eat a salad at three times a day, you know, yeah, you eating uh, microplastic particles as well, you know, on top of that, you know, your damn crouton salad, crouton plastic salad, man, you know, <laughs> this place is off, man, this is why we just hope and pray and wish for the kingdom to come in, because yeah, you you feed. Imagine you notice that you got a you feed your kids. You know, oh, you know. I just brought a plastic container of watermelons again by Sunday. Do you eat the damn plastic fork at that? What the fuck, man. We just, <laughs> you know. And that's why King Solomon, man, he ate with gold forks so he could get the gold in his body. Esau would give everybody plastic forks so plastic could just go in your body, you know, so that it could contaminate and kill you. He's just a devil, man. He's just a big devil. He knows what he's doing.
It's not like, oh, oops, we don't know. Hey, these these are articles. These are articles from 2018, 2019. I mean, 2020. I mean, this, this guy. Look, 2016 plastic in the food chain. This guy, this guy, man, this guy is this guy is a big devil, man. What is this? Takeaway food and drink litter dominates. Takeaway food and drink litter dominates ocean plastic. Just 10 plastic products make up 75% of all items. And scientists say that pollution must be stopped at, at, at the source. Well, you know who's the source? It's Esau. It's you. It's you devils. You are the source. Plastic ninja. Here we go. We're gonna attack plastic. Like, like what a like, like yeah, plastic. Yeah, let's let's just start attacking plastic. No, it's you. It's you. It's always been you. It's not. It's not the diamonds in the ground. It's not the bees. It's not the trees. It's not. It's it's you. You are the problem. You are the problem. And two thirds as listening, because two thirds are very obedient to Esau, man. You know. They do we say? Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, 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 this right here is it. You know, and then, and then, and then they just believe. They just believe whatever Esau does. They just believe. They believe him. They don't. They don't. They don't question it. Oh yeah, back to. Oh yeah, take this. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, he said it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we must be in a pandemic. Oh yeah. Oh. People are dying, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, bro. You you don't even know. You don't even know. You don't even know. He's just making this stuff up. He be making everything up. Everything could just be made up. <laughs> He's the devil. He put you in cargo slaves. He brung us here. He could just be making a lot of stuff up and just making you just take stuff just cause, just cause, man. Just cause one day he just said, you know what? This might be funny. Let's see how much people will listen to us. He might just be doing a bet. I bet you we could get about one billion. Uh, I don't think a billion. I think we could get three billion. You know, it's, 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 it could be that. It could be anything. It could be anything, man. This is how far he could go. And then and then he, he'll get so serious with it. You know, he'll get so serious with it. And then everybody's wearing masks. And then they, you can't even breathe. You're breathing in plastic through the mask. Plus whatever else is in the mask and chemicals. Bro, I don't even know what the hell is going on. I just know we at the end, man. We got to get the hell out of this place, man. This, this is a sick game. This guy's playing a sick game. And has, he has to be playing a sick game. Everybody's coming up with the Oh, yeah. The Astroninga. Pfizer. Oh, yeah. This, oh, then when you take them. Oh, wow. Look. A magnet can stick to your arm. Bro, what? What is happening? What do you mean magnets are sticking to people's arm? We're not refrigerators. All right? We're not refrigerators. All right, magnets are sticking to you. Come on, man. This is this is just a game. He's just sitting back back there somewhere in a dark room. All right, laughing, you know, laughing, you know, uh, kicking it off with his friends, you know, and got a few choice little boys on the side, you know, that, that they don't even they 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 don't even know they don't even know, man. This place, man, we gotta get out of here, man. This place is wicked, man. I mean, man, it's wicked. It's wicked. It's too wicked, man. It's, it is it exceedingly wicked man we in somebody's sick game and we understand to do the spirit we're on a punishment so that's why it's like this but man this is a sick bastard this is a sick game to put us in all these communities with lack of resources and we looking at each other and then jake just fucking they just shooting each other over over lawn they shooting each other over parking spaces they shooting each other over gas Pumps, they shooting each other over a fucking fake twenty thousand dollar chain. They're robbing you, beating the shit out of you, bro. This is just like mayhem, and they're just sitting back, like just chuckling about this shit. You know, they're playing with real people's lives. This guy is the hunter. He's the hunter. You know, he likes what with the the hunter. The hunter lays out traps, snares. I mean, he studies animals. You know, he sees what makes them go off, what makes them tick. I mean, this is what he does, you know? Studies the flesh. Hmm, how many days can they go without eating? Oh, hmm, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Let's legalize marijuana. See everybody get high now. <laughs> you know, like, 
this guy's just going crazy. He's just going crazy. He's legalized marijuana. Everybody's getting high. Everybody's selling weed. Everybody, everybody became a, a weed entrepreneur out of nowhere. I'm just seeing back. I'm like, what the hell? How are they, how are they making? i never seen that before. People on Instagram are selling, <laughs> selling weed with freaking uh, a, a company names of theirs on the internet. Like, what? <laughs> I, I just remember being locked up for stupid stuff like that. Like, like what's going on? You know, but hey, you know, hey, nah, the phase three. Well, let's see what happens with this. <laughs> you know, this guy, man, this guy, man, then, then, you know, then, you know, he's making everybody, he's legalizing everything. Women's rights. Oh, let's see the woman take charge. Go ahead, sister. You know, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then, and then, and then, oh man, he's just like, this is like a sick game. I don't, I don't, I don't you know, this is a sick game. This is a sick game. In order for you to see it, man, you got to like really pray fast and like zone out. And then like, you got to be like, yo, bro, this shit is crazy, man. And we're, we're in the middle of it, you know, and every now and then you bug out. You be like, you know, because it's like, it's like, yo, what the hell is going on here? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And then you you know you get part of it. Oh yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm people moving. You're like, wait, hold on, bro. This moving ain't even funny. Oh, this fight isn't. This is just a game. Like, the Most High is gonna destroy this. This is gonna end. It's just, it's just. I just keep, keep getting caught in a little bit of like, you know, trying to fix the situation. But the Most High, the Most High ordained it to be like this. I can't even fix this. This is a. This is already fixed. It's fixed not to work. It's fixed to be destroyed. It's fitted for destruction. You know, it's tailor made for it. You know, most the most that can happen is the most high increase. So do he do me do he he do he do? That's written in the program, of course. And at the end of the day, we gotta go through the motions. You know, you can't you can't uh, unplug from it. You know, you cannot eat the eat the eat the food or breathe the air. You know, you know. I hope that plastic don't bother you. You know, you stop seeing brothers walking around with face ventilators. You know, listen, man. It's 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 all it's all it's all polluted. Let me let me get that in mica, you know. And this this should make you literally wanna uh you know pray to the most high that he deliver us. Micah two and ten, arise ye and depart. We can't we can't go anywhere, all right? It's in the air, all right? <laughs> it's worse than COVID. It's just, oh excuse me. It's worse than the the, the thing. You know, it, it it's plastic <laughs> and it's it's been contaminating everybody. Right? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. What's the way we talking about? We talk about spiritually, mentally, you know, just get your head out of this being your rest. The food's jacked up, the education's jacked up, you know, uh everything's jacked up. Uh what else? What else is jacked up? You know? Everything is jacked up, man. Everything is jacked up. The coral reefs is dying, animals is eating pla everybody's just eating plastic. When why is everybody eating plastic, bro? Everybody. Like what is what is like what is, what is the big deal with that? It's crazy. Everybody's eating plastic. This guy made genetically modified mosquitoes. Bill Gates made genetically modified mosquitoes. Do you know that them genetically modified mosquitoes killed off hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes in Florida? They they have they like they, yo, it's bugged out. Like I don't even I don't even understand I don't. I don't even understand his purpose. It's, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's just a deaf angel, man. That's just what he is. He's a deaf angel, and he is meant to make. I mean, his purpose is to make Jake cry back to the Most High. But damn, you know, like yo, man. Anyway, it says, "For this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction." Right. So this place, man, it's just it's just going to destroy you. That's it. <laughs> It's going to destroy your kids. It's going to destroy your dog. It's going to destroy everything that you love here. It's going to destroy it. If you have anything, it's going to destroy it. You know, it's going to destroy your kids' mind frame. You know, yes, your kids is going to be have the mind of the world. As stupid as, as, as much as you're going to, it's just, it's, you know what? That I, I even had that mind of the world. All right, that whole mind of the world concept, okay? That's just it it is 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 unavoidable, all right? You have to literally the most I have to literally take you out of this uh 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 he has to de-plug you from this situation. Cause you'll have the mind of the world. 
it's okay to smoke. And the minor world is, is a lot of different things, man. You know, it could go into uh <clears throat> um Yolo spirit, gang life, rapper life, uh drug usage, uh the um <clears throat> pride movement, all right? Women's pride movement, gay pride movement, black pride movement. I mean, the my, man, you know, you gotta really be unplugged. Right? So yeah, man. That's why this flesh ain't gonna make it on them chariots either. That's just another side note, you know. No, I'm just uh doing a long video here, but you know, this is you know what? Hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know. You saw, you know, have you working all damn day, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta man, you know, hey man, but this this is the truth. This is the truth, man. Or call all y'all by shim yaw shy by shim dash, you know. It says it, yeah, you know, it shall destroy you. So guess what? That the most is gonna gonna gotta take us up out of here. All right, because then who's gonna who's gonna represent the name of the Lord? How, how, who's who's gonna be the representatives on earth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? Who who if we all just die here? So it can't we're preserved once again by his word. Cause it can't be by the food. We'll just show you, just show you. What's in the food? Just on two small aspects. You got the the gates of hell, all right, growing food. So you already know what's in that. You know what I mean? This guy is a scientific lab rat, man. He's like, you know, he's probably got all types of chemicals growing in that. In, in that, you don't know. You don't know what's in there. All right, most of the food that's grown now, you got shit growing hydroponically this way, that way. It's not even. It's not even organic. It ain't even in the earth. It's in some lab. Some things a greenhouse and it bro this is you got aeroponics you got so many different ways that they be growing plants this is crazy you know and then you eating it you know you talking about how much vitamins you got bro you shut up you ain't got no you gonna get no vitamins you don't know what the hell is going on man you know neither do i you know i like drinking smoothies and i like eating plants and i like like fruits and vegetables you know i don't know what the hell Shit, what, what the hell bro it's all jacked up it's all jacked up. It's all jacked up, man. It's so messed up, man. It, Man, it'll break you down sometimes. You know, because you just be like, you know, but it's a punishment. It's a true punishment. We got to be the Israelites. This Bible has to be real. If this ain't real, if this Bible ain't real, man, you know, man, yo, man, yo, you just pass out, man. Because this this will hurt your feelings, man. This will hurt your feelings, man. You know, anyway, you know, I've been ranting. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, uh, um, so you know, I, I I've been ranting. You know, Lord willing, and these precepts was edifying for the uh the aspect of that the Most High had. You know, He had the sanction. You know, according to His word. You know, there's a scripture that says, um, let me get that real quick. Um, if anything endure, it's because of the Most High. You know, how can anything endure if the Most High haven't called it? It didn't say. If it had a good diet plan or if it ate the best foods, you know, now, once again, I don't take away from eating good foods and, and none of that stuff. Right. Because the most I said to eat that way. All right. According to his word. See, so you can't you can't go one without another. Right. But this is just showing you that at the end of the day, even without that. It's up to the Lord. Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 5. Is a lot of these kids are not being breastfed. They they eating they drinking infamil. What what the? F I don't even want to say that. Say what 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 is infamil, right? We know that's not. We know that ain't that ain't breast milk, right? It ain't coming out no woman breast. So how 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 are we a lot? I mean I don't know. I've been. I don't even know if I have ever been breast breastfed. <laughs> probably why. Probably. Why. <laughs> <laughs> probably why I got no beard, <laughs> you, know? you know, damn, sheesh, man, damn, you should at least let me try, gave me a shot, but anyway, Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 5, no power of the fire, Salakia, that's not it, um, um, it's in Wisdom of Solomon, it's a, uh, nothing, nothing endure unless unless it be unless unless it, unless unless it was up to the most high oh uh, this is it 
Wisdom and Solomon in 11.25. And how can anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? So what? What is that saying? How can anything survive? Every Any creature, any uh, matter of fact, uh, the brother was talking about a germ. Esau was trying to freeze the germ and do all this. Esau's, Esau's bugged out, right? So he don't, just certain shit he just can't figure it out. Right? So he just try. oh man, how is it still alive? Ugh, ugh, ugh. It's God, dumbass. The most high. Okay? You can't figure everything out, bro. <laughs> oh, there's a freezer burning. Oh man, maybe we need to put this in a, a smoothie. Maybe I'll be able to withstand everything. Thing, thing. You know, no, you won't. You're gonna die because the most high might just want you to die. Alright? But it's just Esau, man. Anyway. It says, and how can anything have endured if it had not been thy will? All right, so it cannot endure unless it's sanctified up to the most high. It's meaning that you can even eat the best diets and not be having plastic in it. But if the most high wants you to die, all right, he might just have a, a brick fall on your head, you know? Or he just might have you, you know, die in your sleep, you know, just die. Just, he could just take your spirit from you. You know, it, it's 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 been done. You know, it's it's not hard. It's not hard for the most how to do that. Or you can hit you by a car. Or you can have a a rear, of a, a fucking excuse my language, a rare spider just bite bite you. You know, and then you just die. You can just he, you won't even see a spider coming. He just came down and just bit you, and you just, you didn't you didn't even know what happened. You died, right? That's how easy it is. So guess what? It's been the will of the most high of you alive listening to this video, right? Through the spirit, Lord's will, okay? And all doing his work. And that's the beautiful thing about it. The most high actually preserved and written that in there for you. So, you know, it's a lot to be thankful about, you know, on the same token. You know, I vend it out, but man, so much to be thankful about that to make it this far. To make it this far, the most high written you here. Be thankful. You know, Lord's will, we got, you know, we got the... <laughs> We those brothers written in the book of life, you know what I'm saying? You know that that's the hope for, you know, you know it, it's a, it's the hope for. What you know? What else you gonna hope for? Staying here, eating plastic all day? Nah, I don't want to eat plastic no more. All right, <clears throat> I don't want to breathe it. It says, <clears throat> and how could anything have endured if it had not been that will or been preserved? So the Most High actually preserved what your spirit. Your mind, your spirit, everything. All right? A certain way. If not called by thee. By what? How you call somebody? With what? With your word. All right? Bam. All right? You don't call anybody with fruits and vegetables. Okay? Uh, you know. No, you don't. Um, verse 26. But thou spirits all, for they are thine, O, the, o Lord, thou lovers of souls. So, what is he preserving with your soul? That's what, so what? You know, going back to the spirit. You know, quick enough and going back to the word. The word is the spirit, you know, and he's preserving your soul. So whatever he whatever he said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the most I say you're gonna be you're gonna live to 90. It doesn't matter if you got hit by got shot a hundred times or you know, real talk. Real talk. Cause you're gonna you're gonna live to 90. All right. If you want you to live to 90 and be walking and talking and having, hey, you could probably got shot still and all of that, but nothing happened. You know, there's certain people you be like, damn, this is a miracle person, you know? Listen, man, if the most high wants you to endure, he gonna make you endure. It is not it's not up to any of us, you know, at the end of the day. You know, being alive, being in the truth, you know, so on and so forth, you know. So this is, you know, real humbling. When we, when we were when you realize. All right, is that it? You know, like man, we don't really got nothing going on unless the Most High say we got something going on. <laughs> you know, a real talk. You know, I, I, hey, it is what it is. It's cool. You know, because even say, say, say you say you was trying to build and do something up. What are you gonna build and do something here? If you had the freedom to do whatever you're gonna do, what, what are you really gonna do? You got people out here, man. You got, you got. You, man, you got some wild spirits out here, man. People just killing and shooting each other every day. Somebody could just murder you for just building whatever you're building. They, I mean, man, people murder each other over everything. 
They might just be jealous. They might think you were somebody who did something. Nah, yo, you that guy who ran down on me that day. And you and they realize afterwards they shot you that, that you wasn't the guy. You know, but anyway. Koholo, Yahweh, Shim, Yahweh, Shai, Shimakakadash. Until the next time, I'll say Shalom.